Hey guys, um, you're welcome to my channel. In this video, I am going to teach you how to use the reset call and reset put option of trading. All right, so um, that this video is also based on a request uh, from one of y'all. So uh, I believe I think I've made a video like this before, but okay, I just need to reiterate on this uh, right here. So if you want to learn how to use the reset call. Uh, option and uh, to trade on binary and derive then you have to stay tuned to the end of this video all right within this video i'm going to be spilling out some top 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 secret within the option so be sure that you watch to the end be sure that you don't skip any part okay so and i'm trying going to try to make this video to be as short as possible so let's just dive right into the video so before we proceed in this particular video i'm going to be giving away this particular ebook watch the video to the end so i'm going to tell you where the download link is so just watch the video to the end all right so um right now if you can look at my screen i am on the riff and for the purpose of this video because it's a tutorial i i'm using a, a demo account of, all right so it's on demo so all right so here i'm going to open different tabs all right this is a uh, the riff, then i'm going to use uh, i'm going to open this smart this smart trader all right the reason why i'm opening different tabs is so that you see the different the differences the the, the fields you know the different fields like how it feels like to use the different option now now um most person when uh, uh you send a kind of tutorial like they do ask which so which one is the best so which one is the best all right so it's a good question but uh one thing that you have to know is all of them have their advantages and disadvantages all right so the advantage of this is that it gives you a second opportunity and in the also apart from giving the second a, a second opportunity it also uh, reduce your profit by 50 percent that's if you're using a ten dollar stake uh, if you lose the, the trade you lose ten dollar if you win the trade you win uh, five dollars all right five point something dollars there but so you're gonna see let's just look at, look at it here all right so uh I, I believe I should. What was that all about? I don't want that. All right, let me begin from here. Now, to use the reset call option, you, you have to click on this part, part here and then uh, scroll down. Uh, what market we're on? Volatility index. We're on matching digit over. All right, the price and four options. Now, uh, guys, can you notice what I am noticing? The reset call uh, and reset put option is not on D Trader. It's not on D Trader. That's on the riff. So where you will find that uh, it's good that we even want to this a particular option. Whenever I want to trade that option, the only place I go through is the uh, binary.com. Now it should be here. Now let's switch to volatility. Volatility 100. Volatility 10 or volatility 100. Okay. Continuous indices. That's it. Volatility 10. Reset call option. All right. Okay. Reset call and reset put. Now this is the only place. This is the only place this can be found. All right. This is the only place it can be found. And you can see it here. If you go up, either you are placing a, a reset call. They they win out. They pay out. This is about. Uh, 57% that's five point seven dollar seventy dollars there that's for a ten dollar stick and then if you are going for a reset put that's for uh, uh that is also five point fifty seven percent 
now like i explained earlier this how this one works is that this reset call option works is let's say okay let me see if i can if i can grab a drawing to let me see if i can grab a drawing to yeah i need this i need this this okay all right so here we are now let's say you have a trade proceeding downward let's say you choose reset put and then let's say your barrier is here and eventually your trade went up and up and up and crosses your barrier now the remaining minute that is that is left let's say if the trade was meant for one minute so as i was saying uh at this point in time so once it crosses this part here, once it crosses the line and and the time and the time expires, then the trade eventually is 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 lost. Is lost. Let's say that's for normal rise and fall. But what the reset call option does for you is, let's say you place your trade to be, let's say your trade is poor and then eventually it's let's say your barrier is here and let's say before your trade proceeded upward uh, before your trade begins to go in your direction let's say you want the trade if the trade ends below the barrier is here it proceeded upward for some about half of the time and then before it will come down come down come down come down come down and get to this point here on some days it's it's already a uh, lost uh, the trade is already it's already uh, uh, a lost trade so what the reset call option does is does for you is half of the time that you chose for the trade it breaks it into two and that resets your barrier so the moment it proceeded upward this way for the first uh, let's say the trade was for one minute the moment proceeded upward for the first 30 seconds then it resets the barrier here so that if eventually the trade decide to come up downward and it ends even somewhat a little below this barrier somewhere here and not close to the initial barrier it becomes a win all right it becomes a win so that's just what it does so in most cases the disadvantage of this is the disadvantage of this option is uh let me clear of this the disadvantage of this option is a situation whereby uh let's say uh, your trade uh, proceed let's say your trade proceed downward first of all okay the disadvantage is whereby a situation whereby your trade proceeds downward let's say downward and downward and downward and the barrier is somewhere here and then it resets somewhere here let's say you place the trade to be let's say an upward trade like a, a core and it proceeds downward and the barrier is somewhere there and then it will it to reset here to reset here then proceed downward again and it will not meet up with the barrier that's the only disadvantage or let's say your trade is okay 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 let me use the initial option of being using let's say you you place your trade on on and put as usual and then your barrier let's say is somewhere here and the initial time the trade proceeded downward proceed downward proceed downward and downward and reset somewhere here and then eventually the remaining half of the time is shot upward and shot upward if it should be on the initial barrier the trade is a loss if it should anything beyond the initial barrier is a loss now this other reset barrier here uh, would not have anything to do that's the only disadvantage so let's say you are using some uh, so most persons that use some refined indicators or refined trading trading strategy or you, you use some refined uh, a pattern of trading you know this will help you to increase your winning rate you know especially when you're using other martingales up uh, pattern of trading oh, okay it helps to increase your winning rate okay so let's just uh, skip the, the theory part and then just 
check out what all this is all about and see how it goes all right so now I'll start with about let me start with uh, one minute one minute has been one of my favorite time uh, when, whenever I want to play stretch so now in one minute the reset time will be in 30 seconds and I'm using a ten dollar stack the reason why I always use ten dollar most times in most cases when I trade I I kind of use uh, let's say more you know but when the balance let's say is uh, about less I, I, I stick to the you know uh, account size all right so let's I'm using ten dollars and looking at this trade right here okay let's say it's going down it's reset put I place the trade now after placing the trade let's view well I don't know why that refreshed though. I don't know I don't know why I don't know why and it's like the entire browser refreshed I think it's from the system now the only way one can go back to that trade right now is to go to report go to report then click on position now you can see the position here click on the trade this trade type is currently not supported on the reef. please go to binary.com you know you see why most times i still prefer binary to a great extent because most things are not yet support supported on the reef. The, uh, most things are still being developed all right so we didn't have the chance to view this trade more and it has ended and it ended in profit all right so uh i think let me place another one so that we'll have more grasp of what we are saying i can explain better all right so look at this trade this is the initial barrier this is where it started all right all right so i place the trade to end downward that's uh reset put so for it to be a win it has to end below you can see it here reset put so you see it's about 33 seconds 32 seconds now 30 seconds there'll be a reset put all right see this barrier here this is a reset barrier so now if this barrier was reset somewhere up here and the trade ended above this point it will still be a win but already now look at this trade now it's going to be a win so you can see that with this pattern of trading you have more chances of winning so now typically let's attempt placing 10 different trades and see the winning rate in this all right but I wouldn't want to be too random okay uh, I just have to be looking at the chart somehow somehow let's look at the chart again let me place reset call right now reset call so it won't look like I'm just looking at reset put all right so now reset call it means that I want the trade to end above this barrier right all right so uh, 40 40 40 seconds all right i want a situation i actually want a situation whereby it will break down the barrier and then it will end and okay it's beyond 30 seconds now so uh if it ends below this barrier it's still if it ends below this barrier it's still a win because the first barrier is is already it's a support already and if it ends beyond this barrier it's still a win all right so already 30 seconds nine seven, five six five seconds remaining this trade is already win it's all right so this is one i said we're going to place 10 different trade and see the win rate okay i i'm no longer finding this funny so please we'll have to move over to binary.com mainly because i don't like the fact that this dairy keeps on refreshing on its own it's, it's not funny it, it closes the trade all right so uh let's go back to binary okay i have to close down the entire dairy platform and uh, here um okay more volatility where are we on we we'll have to check the statement by knowing the particular volatility. I think that was volatility then. So going back, 
cumulatively 10 all right the time frame was one minute reset one minute one minute a trade type reset call reset put ten dollars amount all right so chat so we've already placed two trades now and the two trades are win so we want to see the win rates on this trade here all right okay uh looking at this now i feel this this trade is gonna move upward all right so reset put reset call rather uh view okay so uh So one good thing about this particular pattern of trade is you can can even if you are using okay you see it reset there you can do this as many times as possible like as much as possible and you are sure that yes you're gonna have a good win rate or okay you're gonna have a good win rate all right so this is the remaining uh, a little time before the trade and the next time it will shoot that it will be really hard so this one this is the this is this the third one or the fourth one that is winning okay i have to check the profitable to verify uh, this is the one two three four the fourth trade that is that is win so let's place the fifth one all right i feel it's still going to rise so this is the fifth one all right so i hope you are getting what i'm saying now even if the even if initially when you place your trade is going against you that is the goodness of this reset call option even the first time you place your trade is going against you you don't have much to really fear because you know there is a second chance within all right so here this one i wish the barrier ha i wish this this barrier has ended somewhere here so but it's a little bit beyond the initial barrier i, I hope you guys are really understanding uh this whole thing all right i hope you are really understanding so this now nine seconds six seconds remaining this will make it the fifth trade and zero lost all right zero okay now uh, let's make this sixth one all right our, i said we are going to test run about six different trades all right so now this one started uh we are still putting core core option although it started against us uh it started in the opposite direction but let's see how it goes Oh, oh I will all right now you see where the reset is now now the barrier is here but eventually if this trade decide to go up a little and ends beyond this second barrier it becomes a win so I wanted to see what I'm talking about right here it's remaining 10 seconds Many five seconds you know that okay it has ended and say win you know that normally this trade before it gets to as at this point here it started all the way below all right as at this point you know that on the normal the horizon for this trade is not it won't be a win because the barrier is up here look at where the trade ended here it ended just somewhat a little bit beyond just one tick beyond the second barrier so that's what reset call actually does for you now this is the that's the seventh trade we are placing let's place the eighth one all right there's something there's something i would really like us to experiment here let me open a different let me open another account here and now why opening another account i want to attempt placing the same trade i want to attempt placing trade differently like 
the same trade uh, in different direction all right okay Let's look at where this one is now at this point here Let's look at where the reset barrier is now so this trade was directly placed like this particular one I should have checked the chart and seen that the market is falling but now based on the fact that we are trying to leverage on the reset core option let's see how helpful this can be to us uh, is this the eighth, eighth trade now you can see it is a win and it win beyond the second barrier all right let us place the ninth trade all right already now we've placed about nine different trade uh no less this should be the tenth one all right let's let me check the uh the profitable to see, to verify that all right this one two three four five five is it six let's count from top one two three four five six six seven okay seven so the one that is going on right now is the eighth one is the eighth one okay remaining 22 seconds okay see where the barrier is reset okay remaining 10 seconds remaining one seconds you can see for the for the for the eight this is the eight i think this is the eight one then you can see that it's just the reset core the entire trades are just be ending beyond the reset core all right it will just be ending beyond the reset barrier all right if it if it had dependent on the initial barrier alone the all the trade would have been a lost all the way like it would have been a lost uh could this be the last one I said 10 different trades so uh how many do we have already we have uh one two three four five six seven eight okay is the ninth one that is on right now is the ninth one that is on right now after then then we can place the tenth one all right okay 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 you can see this one stay and within the reset core uh, barrier all right so you can see that the chances of winning this trade let me place the last one and let's see if we can have like uh, for 10 different trials let me see if we can have like a hundred percent win all right this same one i place reset core as well and whoa for the first 30 seconds of the, of the one minute trade is starting from a very very uh, negative direction so uh but one thing you have to know about this uh, kind of trade is that this particular kind of trade does not offer reset to market as well all right so we have our reset barrier here you can see here so on a normal day you know that this trade here to to have it to have this trade uh, right here you know uh, win for a rise and fall you can see it's far far away from the barrier and it's still shooting down it's still shooting down even dragging with the second barrier all right so uh, so let's say eventually we have about 99 percent win because this particular trade the last one is a loss all right so now let's let me let me try out what i wanted to try out okay okay uh placing in different i know it might not start exactly the same time though it might not start exactly the same time but i try to be as fast as possible to see if i can uh make it if not the same time like close closest to the same time all right so i'm going to place reset call here and then reset put in the other direction so let's just go reset call here reset put here and let's see 
what will happen if there's possibility of the boat trade winning all right you can see that it's almost the same pattern the same pattern of procession now reset call is actually going in this in the call direction why reset put okay okay the barrier line created the barrier line on the same barrier spot all right now definitely at this point in time one of them is going to be a lost because creating a barrier line on the same spot where it started uh okay the reset put will be the one that will be lost eventually so uh, the, I'm, I'm just trying to test our scenarios reset call here was a win reset put here is a loss so i'm just trying to test a scenario if this let me try it again call put all right if there is any way so the particular download link for this particular ebook is tag number 10 the number there is just number 10 uh, in the description box so just click on number 10 and then have it freely download this ebook is is worth over 30 dollars so i just give it to you free download and uh, see if you're eligible to download though so that this whole thing can you know uh, play itself out like you know sweep itself out of the equation you know to, to you know uh, find a way to I, I don't, you, if you get what I'm trying to say like use the system against itself all right but as at that particular instance where it ended on the same barrier where it started it wouldn't work definitely now this is reset core all right and now this one here is reset put here so here this one here is going to be a win if it ends even closer to this line here but this one here if it ends beyond the barrier it's going to be a loss all right so uh so our little test out is, isn't isn't really working like isn't really working okay. but i guess y'all understand what what exactly i'm trying to you know test out you know but it isn't working and i was i was just hoping it works at any of the time so now apart from using one minute now if you decide to switch your time to five seconds um just know that you can always uh reduce the time frame like it will if you switch your video to five seconds know that it will it will take 2.5 uh zero second for the trade uh to reset for the reset call to you know occur if you switch your time to two minutes it will take uh, uh zero point it will take uh, one minute before the reset call will be achieved so whichever time frame that you switch your time into whatever the time frame that you switch your time into it will take it will take half of the time for the reset to occur so just have that in mind so um i don't know everybody have their different time frame that they trade with so whatever the time frame that you love trading with is okay this one here was a win and this one here was also a win now i have achieved what i tried to achieve with you guys now i've reached, I've seen that we've just achieved that now this was a reset call and which ended beyond the barrier line and this was a reset put it ended beyond the initial barrier but it ended below the second barrier yeah that's what i'll try to uh, demonstrate to you guys so which means eventually there is a, a great chance that two different trades in two different directions are capable of winning at the same time all right two different trade, uh, trades started at the same direction uh, and started in different direction a couple of women so if i switch this time here to five ticks but just know that the profit will be reduced all right the payout okay the payout is not reduced sorry PI is not reduced but the timing it will reset in two seconds rather two seconds 
nah, that was a put. Uh, was it put? Yeah. It reset in, in two seconds. Okay, that's the loss. So, uh, the chances of losing here is very, as usual, five seconds is very, this time frame is very small, so it's very high. Alright, so if you know how to read the warm and the last digits here, then you should know how to use this five seconds very effectively on a reset call and reset code. So, um, those that are using a very small account, uh, okay, you can see the reset there. Those that are using very small account, uh, Probably you might not be able to use two dollars uh, ten dollars to place trade. You might be using two dollars per trade, which means that the the outcome of one single trade will be about one point four ten dollars or maybe one dollar. Which outcome? What outcome of one trade will be two point seven dollars? You can see here it creates a second barrier. Okay, it creates a second barrier that gives you more chances of winning. So in most cases, what I might probably do in this case here is just change the amount to to get back my two and the other two that cost and the profit and I just switch the amount to to, to 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 six or something and get back this profit of about three point four two dollars alright so that was a reset a reset for alright it doesn't work alright it doesn't work so uh recommendably recommend uh, recommendably i'll advise you all to you know stick to one minute if you or, or larger time frame right? but if you are good at this warm here maybe if you want that i think i've made video on this how to use this warm here so if you check my previous video you see it so you can probably make use of that all, all right if you understand this particular section is a random video so you can see that the winning rate is really high here all right if you don't know how to use the reset call reset put all right so this is a clear video that shows that i believe you guys enjoy this video if at this point in time you are watching this video and uh, maybe you come across this channel and you're watching this video and you are not subscribing you have not subscribed then you are not doing well so please do well to subscribe to this channel it's very important because it's going to be very helpful to you in the future all right and i will keep on updating you guys and i'll keep yielding to your request all right see y'all in my next video